A ghost is known to be either a soul or spirit of a person or animal to many cultures around the world that can appear before the living. They are associated with ancestor worship, spiritualism, demonology, and animism, or the belief that animals, plants, and often inanimate objects found in nature possess a spiritual essence. The terms ghost and spirit tend to overlap throughout Western society. The Old English word ghast is a synonym for the Latin word spiritus, meaning breath or blast that has been attested circa 9th century. It also denotes the ideals of good and evil, that is, angels and demons. Additionally, it denotes the spirit of God in modern Christianity, or the Holy Ghost. A widespread belief concerning ghosts is that they are composed of misty or subtle material, sometimes known as ectoplasm, which was a term coined by Charles Richet in 1905 after it was named the President of the Society for Physical Research. Anthropologists have linked the aspect of the misty air description to ancient cultures as a person's breath. In Latin, spiritus means breath, and the ancient Greek word pneuma is a religious context for spirit or soul. In the Bible, God is depicted as creating Adam from the dust of the earth and the breath of God. Ghosts are considered in some accounts to be people that have lingered or returned from the other side to seek revenge on the living or were imprisoned on earth in an undead state as a punishment for the wrongs they did in life. The appearance of a ghost has often also been considered as a portent to death, as well as an individual seeing their ghost double. Non-living objects such as a boat or a ship have also been incorporated into the undead title of ghosts such as the Flying Dutchman a legendary ghost ship that can never make port and is doomed to sail the oceans forever. The first reference to the ship in print appears in Chapter 6 of A Voyage to Botany Bay, which was a non-fiction memoir from author George Barrington, written in 1795. The legend itself goes that if the ship was seen by another vessel, that it was a portent to doom. If hailed by another ship, the Flying Dutchman's undead crew will try to send a message to land to people that have been long dead. Another example of a ghost ship would be the Mary Celise, which was famous for having been found in the Atlantic Ocean on the 4th of December in 1872, unmanned and abandoned with one lifeboat missing. The mystery of this was that the ship's crew of seven were experienced and capable sailors, and that the ship seemed to be in great condition with no silence of violence or robbery, and the sail still set for the Strait of Gibraltar. The ship, even before this incident, was considered to be cursed due to the death of the first captain due to catching pneumonia and dying nine days after he took command in two separate collisions with other vessels. Ghosts have often been the subject of skepticism and are quite frequently shown in photographs and video footage. Usually the photo is of a car crash or taken within a person's home. One of the most famous photographs of a ghost is the brown lady of Raynham Hall. Her name is derived from the brown brocade dress it is claimed she wears. The identity of the brown lady, according to legend, is the ghost of Lady Dorothy Walpole, who was married to Charles Townsend. Mary Wortley Montague has claimed that Dorothy was in fact trapped in one of the rooms by the Countess of Lord Phillips Wharton for committing adultery with him. She could never leave Rainham Hall and later died of smallpox in 1726. Later on, this photograph and the story behind it was investigated by the now famous Harry Price, who then gave the photograph his approval of authenticity. Ghosts have been featured in the media and video games for years. A few examples would be Ghosts and Goblins, the still popular yet challenging NES game, the Academy Award winning film Ghosts released in 1990, and the Zelda franchise, where ghosts are featured prominently in each installment. 